Hey everybody, hello from uh, Friends Arena in Stockholm. It's Rick here from 12points.tv, and I'm lucky enough to have the opportunity to speak with uh, Louise Hofstein. Hello, Louise. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, a lot of people that would are interested in Eurovision, they may be coming across you for the first time. Um, can you summarize, I, I mean, you've had a 25, 30 year career. Can you summarize yourself <laughs> in like two sentences? What drives you? What, what is, if you want people to listen to you, what should they hear from your music? Uh, well, I think I have a uh, real passion for music and I'm very fond of the blue notes. Uh, I'm very fond of uh, blues, ins uh, blues inspi in, uh, inspired music. And um, I usually, uh, I've, I've done a lot of things both in blues and rock and, and uh, folk also. So I played with a lot of great musicians uh, and we have done great music together. I think um, you started your career mostly working in folk music and you moved into blues. Um, would you, th you think the local audience here in Sweden, were they familiar with this style of music when you came along or w did you feel maybe it was more of an introduction to Sweden? Um, actually, I don't know. Well, actually I started out as a rock singer with rock music. And, uh, but then again, I always um, been talking, when I, I, I've spoken to the audience about what I like, what kind of music, then I al always talked about the blues. So. So they kind of, you came along with the music. They came for you and the music came along for the ride. Um, when you were younger, uh, you were in a band called More Meat and another, another one called Dysentery. Was this like your rebel phase when you were younger? You wanted just to dis mu play music but destroy the public? Is that Correct. <laughs> Is that, um, do you think, um, what do you think of Eurovision in general? This is the first time you're participating in a Melody Festival. In. Uh, is it the kind of thing you stay at home and watch? and uh, Or is it uh, something that you said, ah, what the hell, I'll give it a try this year, see how it goes? No, this is not really uh, uh, something that I usually watch, to tell you the truth. You know, I don't. And I always said, no, never, <laughs> never. But then again, uh, touring during uh, on on Saturdays in in Sweden, it's impossible because you, uh, there's nobody that wants to put put a, a band or artist uh, to play on a Saturday evening because everybody are home watching TV. Okay. So you can't do it. No. So why not just join them? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Louise, for taking the time to talk to us. So Cheers. Thank